Hello, mighty pirates! What are we going to do today? So, today we're going to change the PLA, the original PLA inside this wonderful machine here, uh, with a new one. Why we should always replace the old PLA with a new one? Well, first of all, if the PLA is still working, uh, you might have a spare part, an original spare part put inside a closet to, and use it when, if you want to sell your original machine with the old original chips inside and the value of course is greater. Second, the PLA is a very very delicate component so um, the more you use it the more chances there are that it's gonna, it's gonna break because it's very old, at least 40 years old, so... And third, uh, the PLA, the new PLA uh, today are more reliable and they become... Uh, they stay quite uh, cold and, and so the whole machine is... You know, it's working better because it's... Uh, cold enough inside so uh, we're going to open this Commodore 64 and we're going to see the company we're going to replace so come on, come on let's do it all right as you can see I think uh, some some of you who follow this channel will recognize this motherboard here and these components here because I've been using this machine on another video to, um, to show how easy it is to replace all the chips if they are socket on the motherboard, they are socketed. So, we're going to replace this chip here. As you can see, I've been applying an heat sink on it and uh, it becomes out anyway. So, um, of course, the XC here works perfectly. It's a wonderful piece of hardware. And so now um, I'm going to change this company here with the new one. I'm going to show the new one. Here we go. This is the new PLA. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty much the same this one but it has two chips on it it's a really wonderful it just arrived so I'm going to replace it put it on the motherboard and continue to shooting this video okay so this is the empty socket this the this is the new PLA and this is the original PLA so as you can see it's pretty much the same as dimensions Side. Socket here. Okay, of course, since the socket was, since the socket is pretty nice, putting the new PLA inside was really, really easy. So now I'm going to close the camera 64 here. Close it. Perfect. So I'm going to plug the power, so this is going to be real time. I'm doing my best holding my phone and at the same time trying to do that. Alright. Connected, power connected. So I'm going to connect the video here. Connected, video connected, so I'm going to switch on 
monitor here. See, it works. Whoa, here it goes. Perfect. All right. So, quite easy. So now I have a perfectly functional PLA here, which is going to be uh, a spare part, and I'm going to use this Commodore 64 uh, with a new component. So I'm very happy about this because it means that this computer is going to last longer since I am not using original chips, and everything is going to run just fine. So this is the end of this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you soon, bye!